Gerard Hennie here. This is my 1994 uh, total awesome truck. It's a GMC 1500. I think the tie rods are going a little bad. Ugh. So what do you say about us replacing them? Show you what to look for. Show you how to do it. I'm not a professional, so this should be interesting. First thing you want to do is get your truck in the air. <gasps> See? Look. Oh, oh, I screwed that up. Round two. First, make sure that your truck is in the air so that your tire does this. Ooh. I also prefer to uh, chalk block the back and the e-brake because uh, I don't want a 1500 to uh, land on me. We're going to determine how this is bad. I'm going to grab the sides once it's in the air and give it a little, ooh, see that, that shimmy, how it'll move from side to side. Yeah, that's telling me that I've got a bad tie rod end somewhere. Top to bottom would be your bearings. I don't have any play there, so look at that nonsense. We'll also climb under here and take a look at this by hand. See this guy? See how I can move it just with nothing, like hardly any effort? That's your tie rods. Oop, 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 oop. I think it's time to replace them. All right, so first, we're gonna start out by taking the wheel off, of course. Pop the hub, the cap. We'll put that over here somewhere. Now, if you don't have an impact, you don't need an impact. You can still get these off. Mine's a 22 mil that I'm using. If you don't have one of these, just take them off by hand. It's okay. You'll be alright. The truck should have a tool to do it. Underneath the back. Underneath the seat. Or somewhere in the truck. Alright. Look at that. Oh, Looks like I need some new tires too. Good old tie rod ends. Worked out the outside of my tires. Alrighty. Well, let's find out what tools we need and get down to business. All right, so this guy here, we're going to take this outer tie rod end off first. And I've determined that that is an 18 mil. Hallelujah. Uh-oh. What happened there? Uh-oh. Got a spin in the inside of it. Well, if that tells you how bad they are, that sucks for me. Hmm. Right off the bat. Let's try and grab it with this. Keep it from spinning, maybe. Oh, yeah, it's greasy. That didn't do the trick. You get a little bit tighter. Just so anybody knows, this is absolutely how my luck goes. It can never just be simple. It's always got to be something dumb. And you guys get to witness it. Come on. Nope, that ain't happening. All right, this should be good. Good quality filming. Never fails. How am I gonna get that off of there? 
I really don't want to have to cut it. When in doubt, cut it out. And if you're going to be using a grinder, I suggest a face shield because just trust me. Bravo. Bravo. That's going to be hot. Now let's see what we can do with the punch and the hammer. Let's see what we can do. Ta-da! Well, there's one side. Let's see about the other side. Second little fellow is right there. And it obviously isn't a 22 millimeter. What was I thinking? It wasn't 22. What was the one I... Was it 22? No, it was an 18. Get a get a wrench up on there. See if we can get this. Oh, that's gonna be tightening it. I don't want to do that. Gotta go that way. Ugh. Look at that. It's moving. It's moving. back with a ratchet and see if we can't get it oh no wow okay oh, so wrench it is wrench it is two hours later patience young grasshopper See what I'm spitting on here. Yeah. All right. I'm hoping that we can just pop that right out. I think I have a tool for that. So now let's we'll see if we can't take this hammer to it or this. Fork. Make it come out of there. Ah, oh, yeah. Splendid. Give me back my fork. So we're going to take a new one here. We're going to take the old one. And we're going to try and get them to be the same length, which is, well, we're pretty close. You still have to go get an alignment, but in the meantime, you probably want them to still be as close as possible. That looks, that looks pretty good. All right, now a lot of times these new ones have a grease cert. I'm gonna put some grease in that. Until you get a little bit of a, a bulge going. Doot doot. Doot doot. Oh yeah, golden. I'm gonna take this nail brush and try and get some of the garbage. Off of there. All right. This, can't even see it because I'm not paying attention to the camera. Rotate this big fella around. Oh man. Come on, big fella. There we go. Oh no, don't do that. We don't want to do that. Don't. Nice little castle. Okay. 
castle nut. Put it on. Those are 18s. Those are 18s. So right now we'll just snug them up there. Snug it up. Now it says it requires 40 foot pounds. So, oh, well, we're already there, huh? There's 40. Oh, got to back that one off so I can put the, uh, 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 just a little bit, so I can put the pin in there. And this guy, it's got a little cotter pin, needs to go in there. Oh, come on, get out, pull through, grab the wizard. Oh yeah, okay. Make sure it doesn't move. There it is. Get through there. Alright. Now it's on there. Those are on. Now, of course, <clears throat> you're gonna wanna take it in to uh, have a, an alignment done, unless you're the Grand Master Wizard, and then you can just do it yourself. But then you just go and do the other thing, the same thing on the other side. So, I'm Gerard Henney, and this is my 1994 GMC. Oh yeah, hey, check this out. Oh uh, no, he's... Yes, eat my weeds. Eat the weeds. Eat the weeds. No, he was trying to eat the rose bush just a second ago. Apparently he didn't like it as much. He's like, I'm just fertilizing it. dreams are made of. <laughs> there goes our cat. Dude is like, what is this thing? The dude's like, I don't even care. Eat all of that. I don't want it there anymore. <laughs>